The Book of Love and Creation is a channeled text authored by Paul Selig that continues the spiritual guidance and wisdom first introduced in his previous work, I Am the Word. At its core, the book is a transcript of dictation given to Paul by a group of spiritual guides or entities, which he refers to collectively as the guides. This manuscript serves as both a spiritual guidebook and a source of philosophical musings on the nature of existence, love, and creation. The book opens by establishing the notion of divine love as the foundation of all creation. According to the guides, love is not merely an emotion, but an intrinsic aspect of the universe's fabric, the building block of all that exists. Humanity's primary purpose is to align with this force of love and manifest it fully in their lives, thereby becoming true expressions of the divine. To assist in this alignment, the guides present a number of lessons and insights aimed at awakening the reader's consciousness and enabling a deeper understanding of their divine nature. One of the key principles discussed is the idea that everyone and everything is an expression of the Creator, thus all are interconnected and imbued with divine essence. The recognition of this connection fosters a sense of unity and compassion among all beings. The guides also delve into the concept of frequency and vibration, explaining how each individual operates at a specific vibrational frequency that can be raised or lowered by their thoughts, feelings, and actions. By elevating their frequency through conscious intention and positive action, a person can align more closely with higher spiritual realms and access a greater flow of creativity and love. Throughout the text, the guides emphasize the power of choice and personal responsibility in shaping one's experience. Every individual is depicted as a conscious creator, empowered to manifest their reality through the focus and direction of their will. This creative potential is limitless, but must be harnessed with discernment and wisdom to manifest outcomes that are aligned with the highest good. Personal transformation is another significant theme in the Book of Love and Creation. The guides provide exercises and meditations designed to help the reader release fear-based patterns and embrace their own divine authority. By confronting and transmuting fears, an individual can step into a life of greater authenticity and purpose. In tandem with this process of personal growth, the guides address the issue of social and collective consciousness. They teach that as individuals awaken and elevate their consciousness, they also contribute to the overall elevation of humanity's collective heart and mind. This ripple effect can lead to substantial shifts in societal norms and the creation of a more compassionate, enlightened global community. The guides highlight the importance of present moment awareness in the journey of awakening. By grounding oneself in the present, a person can more easily let go of attachments to past trations and anxieties about the future, thereby accessing the fullness of their creative power. One of the most profound messages of the book is the notion of the Christ in consciousness. This term is not exclusive to the Christian understanding of the word Christ, but rather denotes a state of being where one is fully realized and operating as an expression of divine love. The guides suggest that this shift in consciousness is possible for all individuals and it requires recognition and embodiment of one's innate divinity. As the book progresses, the guides elaborate on the process of co-creation with the divine. They explain that by collaborating with the energy of the Creator, humans can bring forth innovations and solutions that reflect divine intelligence and compassion. This act of co-creation is not just for personal benefit, but also serves the greater purpose of fostering love and light in the world. The Book of Love and Creation emphasizes the journey of self-discovery as a means to heal not only the individual, but also the collective. By addressing shadow aspects and embracing one's truth, one can contribute to the healing and evolution of the entire human race. The guides suggest that as more people do this work, the world will undergo a transformation that reflects a higher level of consciousness and love. In conclusion, the Book of Love and Creation is a spiritual manual that encourages readers to embrace their divine essence and manifest love and creativity in their lives. Through the teachings and exercises provided by the guides, individuals are invited to align with the vibrational frequency of love, embrace their role as conscious creators, 
and contribute to the elevation of human consciousness. The book culminates in a vision of a collective awakening to the reality that all beings are interconnected and that true creation springs from the well of divine love at the heart of the universe. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.